Test one, two, test one, two. <clears throat> if you're out there in Facebook land, let us know how we sound. We got a special interview coming up with Gary Lavox from Rascal Flats. Stay tuned for that. We're in the big ballroom here at the Pink Shell for the final day of the Island Hopper Songwriter Festival. Big time star coming up. So stay tuned for a special interview. Let us know how the sound is. If the sound is good, we're ready to rock, everybody. Stay tuned for a very special interview. waiting for him to come down from his room so if you can hear us and the picture looks okay just let us know in the chat box gary lavox is going to be performing tonight about six o'clock at the pink shell to cap off the island hopper songwriter festival here on fort myers beach big time star lead singer for rascal flats going out on his own now doing some solo stuff he's got a great hit called Get Down Like That, which was written by uh, Thomas Rhett and Hardy. We're going to ask him about that when he comes into the room. So stay tuned for that. Hope everybody's having a great weekend and getting ready for the big storm on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. Thanks, Leanne. Appreciate that. They're getting ready for a meet and greet here. iHeartRadio is sponsoring the event tonight here at the Pink Shell. Uh, so they're getting ready to bring in some of the big fans. It's completely empty right now. It's just you guys and us, just the beach talk radio crowd here getting ready for, uh, Gary Lavox. We're going to ask him some questions. We got about 20 minutes with him. He's from Columbus, Ohio. Go figure another person from Ohio. So we're going to ask him if he knows what the final score of the Buckeye game was yesterday. Am I ready for Ian? I think so. Who's Ian? Oh, that's the swarm name. <laughs> yes. We live in Gateway, so we're fine. Does anybody know what the final score of the Ohio State-Wisconsin game was last night? It is a nice day on the beach today. I was all worried about the traffic coming down here, so I came down early, went to the lighthouse to watch some football. huge crowd at the lighthouse how's the video everybody video look okay we're popping it off the uh iphone um hot spot today stand by for gary lavox the lead singer of rascal flats because you know you people that watch beach talk radio you got connections you know people Yeah, the score was dismal. What's up, Jonathan from Detroit? What's the score of the Lions game? The final score of the Ohio State-Wisconsin game was 52-21. to 21. Ohio State won. By the way, Rascal Flats, 17 number one hits, over 23.4 23 million albums sold, 35 million digital downloads, 2.2 billion streams worldwide 4.4 billion streams solely on pandora they sold over 11 million concert tickets and earned more than 40 trophies from the aca acm ama cma people's choice awards and uh it just goes on and on crazy to have this kind of superstar on the beach 17 17 number one hits this this song here get down like that that he just released solo is going to be a number one hit no way the lions are winning that's crazy what are the lions one and one right now 
right, it's 4.06. We're six minutes late. You guys know how I hate to be late. So you're going to be here at 4 o'clock? Be here at 4 o'clock. I don't care how big a star you are. I'm just kidding. <laughs> sure you sign signing autographs? I could be out there signing autographs too, Gary Lavox. <laughs> He's been with Sony for 22 years. I'm so all alone in this room, this big giant ballroom at the pink shell. Gray is a super nice that did what? Greg, stop typing when you're drunk like that. I'm guessing you guys can hear okay and see okay. Yes or no? Just give me a yes or no. That's all I need. stretches this out much longer I'm, oh, here we go yeah oh yeah McVay. we got you right here cool ready to rock if you are ready man you need some headphones sure i don't know if anybody here can take a few pictures but Oh, hi, hi, hi. Ready to oh yeah. Sound okay? Yeah, you good, good, man. All right. Ready to go? Ready. This is Beach Talk Radio. Good morning, Let's take a few pictures. Mr. And Mrs. America and all ships at sea. This is your captain Thank speaking, you. Bean Jean. Mean Gene, the following will be a test of the ship's whistle, the sonar alarm, the cable alarm, and the atomic attack alarm. Live from Peach Time Out in the heart of Times Square, you're listening to Beach Talk Radio with Kim and Ed Ryan. And welcome to the Pink Shell for a change. Uh, the uh, Peach Time Out is up the street a little bit, Gary. We do a morning podcast every Saturday up there for four years now. Um, but we really appreciate you coming down to Fort Myers Beach. How are you? I'm doing great, man. It's great to be here. The weather's beautiful. Yeah, and no storm yet. No storm yet, yeah. <laughs> One of the things uh, my wife and I like to do is ask a, a couple of personal questions right before we get into the music. So you ready? You're I'm ready. ready. To go. Okay, I'm going to start the clock. Don't cheat now. Don't look okay, at look my cheat sheet right, now. No, All right. Are you a dog or a cat person? A uh, dog. Favorite TV show growing up? Uh... Uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, uh, Andy, uh, uh -huh. yeah. Andy Griffith. <laughs> Andy Griffith. Favorite movie of all time? Hoosiers. Hoosiers. All right. If you had 30 minutes and a recorder, who would you like to interview? Do they have to be alive? No. Oh, they don't? No. Elvis. Elvis. Okay. Most embarrassing moment of your life? Of my life? I don't know. I've had a bunch. But musically, probably when I ripped the crotch out of my pants, like in the second song. <laughs> it's always a pants thing it's with people. It's always, man. <laughs> yeah, it's I, and it's the second song. You know, you got two hours. It's not like you can go change. I'm, I'm not Reba. You know, I don't have just. <laughs> you don't have a staff that's helping you staff, change out yeah, of uniforms and stuff like out, that. Yeah. So, um, how how what 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 can people expect tonight when they show up to the pink shell and see you perform out there? What what do you think? What do you got in your bag of tricks? You know, we're just we're gonna have a great time. We're just, so you know, some of my new music. Um, I'll be doing all the flat stuff, and uh, so we're just gonna have a blast, man. The setting, this place is awesome. It's weird that it's yellow and it's called the pink shell. Yeah, a lot of yellow. <laughs> where, where do you see the yellow? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Did you watch the game last night? Absolutely, man. Uh, Fifty-two to twenty-one. Yeah, the big Ohio. Yeah, I mean, this is like the second uh, home for Ohio State fans. Yeah, you're a big Ohio State fan. Huge. Yeah. So uh, you got a chance to watch the game. They did pretty good. Yeah, they just, I mean, just dominated. Yeah, you know. So it was, uh, it was great. You know, we'll just keep on rolling till we run into Georgia or <laughs> one Alabama. At the end. Yeah. So uh, what's it like for you now to be out on your own after so many years with a, 
I mean, so many hits. What's it like to be on your own? And and I know I listened to your interview with Bobby Bones. You love being out on tour and all that. So what's it like now? You know, it's great. It really is just having a blast. And, um, you know, it's just just having the time of our life. It's just uh, it's freeing to be able to just be open and pick and choose and do what you want. Me be just having the sole decisions on decision making and, and all of that and what I want to cut and all of that. So it's just. You know, it's just uh, it's been it's been awesome. Now, this the, the 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 single that's out now, Get Down Like That, written by Thomas Rhett and Hardy. Uh -huh. how, how do you get Thomas Rhett and Hardy to write a song for you or how does that all come about? Well, it d depends. Like Thomas Rhett and I are on this. We're on we're label mates. Sony. Yeah. And uh, so Rust, Rusty Gaston, who was the president of Sony, called me up and said, man, I just I, Thomas Rhett, Hardy, Ashley Gore, they just turned this song in. I want you to hear it. And I just, I fell in love with it. I'm yeah. like, that's what I was looking for. It's got to have tempo, got to have something with some meat on the bone. So, so upbeat. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's a number one song. I mean, is it, uh, where is it on the charts now? I mean, you know, it's got to be a know. number one song. Come on. It's, it's so awesome. Well, thanks, man. I, I don't know. I've been in, I've been elk hunting in New Mexico. So I'm just kind of getting back. Elk hunting. Yeah. Uh, so I haven't had any service or anything. So do you, uh, uh, did you get any? I did. Yep, yeah. What do, you, what do you do with the elk when you, I mean, you, 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 you oh, just, it's the best, it's the best meat in the world. No kidding. Yeah. 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 It, you won't eat hamburgers anymore. Once really? you have some elk in New Mexico. Yep. Yeah. How many did you get? I mean, is there just a limit one, on it? Yeah. One. You get one. And how long does the meat last you? Oh, depends on how you eat it, but four months. Now you, do you live in Nashville now or do you still live in Columbus or, I mean, I have a farm in, in Ohio. And then, uh, but I live in Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, when you first came to Nashville, did you just, uh, did you try and break in by playing clubs and stuff like that? Or, I mean, it's crazy. The music scene in Nashville, like there's music playing 24 hours a day. Yeah. And all those scenes. So crazy. how did it, how did it work for you? How did it, how'd you do it? Yeah. We just started playing clubs and honky tonks. And so we started, uh, playing at the fiddle and steel guitar bar and then, like on Mondays and then like right across the alley was Barbara's. And so you can just literally jump bar to bar to bar to bar. And it, so you're, it's almost like karaoke, but you're playing with live bands every night. Yeah. It, it might be, you know, back then it was like Mark Chestnut's drummer could be Toby Keith's bass player could be, uh, you know, Terry Clark's, you know, fiddle player. I mean, it's just, it's crazy just to play with live music and, so we you put your name on the list and we started doing that. And then we kind of built a fan base at the fiddle and steel and we were playing every night after yeah. that point. And so how did you get signed though? I mean, what happens when you, somebody w walk in from a label and say, okay, these guys are superstars. Yeah. You kind of start building a buzz around town. People start knowing, and then they're like, Hmm. So then they'll send a few scouts out and they'll check you out. And the next thing you know, the, you got some things lined up and you, go over there and you meet and you do, you sing acoustically and you know, hopefully they like it. And, and that's just kind of how it works. When you heard your uh, music on the radio the first time, what was that like? You know, it, it was just, it was, it was scary at first because praying for daylight when it came out, it was actually on one of those smasher trash things. That, yeah. It's the first time. That, you know, <laughs> I don't think they do that, that anymore. Smasher is a trash, <laughs> you know, so, in Nashville. Yeah. In Nashville, we just, we just pulled in on the bus. And that was on the radio. And we were like, oh, no. I don't know if we want to listen. <laughs> and the first first two people were like, uh, you know, it's trash. They are like, oh, this is not going to be good. <laughs> and then uh, then I think the, the 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 other eight or whatever liked it. And we are like, all right, good. Because it's too late to turn it and change it now. Yeah, yeah. So after that, it was just like, I mean, reading 17 number one hits, 23.4 million albums sold. I mean. That's crazy success. How do you deal with success like that? Man, you just uh, you just keep trying to write the next one. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You just you get out there and you, you just, uh, I mean, our fans are the best. And so just being on tour and being able to see them and, um, you know, because, Lord, we spent more time with them than we did our own families in the right. first, first half of our career, you know? And, and uh, other things that you do, I don't think people, maybe they don't know about, you're really involved in human trafficking. Like, t t talk about that. W what's, what's, what's your involvement with that? Yeah, uh, Tim Tebow and I are like best friends. So Tim and Demi uh, really started doing this uh, on the human sex trafficking side. It's like a, 
you know, $40 billion a year industry. Right, right. I mean, trafficking children, it's just, it's ridiculous and it's got to quit. So we, we, uh, you know, we do a lot of stuff with rescuing them and, and Tim has facilities all over the world, safe houses. And so, oh, no kidding. Yeah. So that's the, uh, they'll go and actually rescue or buy girls. They'll, we'll actually buy them. They'll be selling children. We'll buy them to get them, them out of that house. trade. Uh -huh. Wow. So uh, how did you meet Tim Tebow? How, how did that all come about? And then you got involved in this. Yeah. He, he came to a show the year that he won, uh, won the Heisman and we just hit it all. Been just the best of friends since then. No and, kidding. Yeah. When, when, uh, what is your advice to young artists? Like we, we know a couple of artists that are trying to break in in Nashville that, that come down here for the songwriter festival. Mm hmm and they're busting their ass trying to trying to make it and it's it's so hard to 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 become uh you know to get on the radio i mean every everything is about spotify and all that but it's really about being on the radio do you agree or disagree with that yeah i mean i think all of it helps but yeah i mean is that's you always want to hear yourself on the radio yeah you know driving down the street Absolutely. and all of a sudden your song comes on yeah so what is your advice like you how do you do that how do you break in how do you break through you know, you just got to stay on the grind, you know, and it, uh, it all starts and ends with a great song. So you got to have that first to be able to have anything to work. And you just, you just stay out there and, and just keep beating the streets up, you know, just play every time, every chance you can everywhere. And you just, uh, you know, you just, it's all in who, you know, yeah. also. So you yeah, go to some of those events in town and all of that and just, you know, perform sing whatever do it like it's the last time you'll ever do it what keeps you motivated to keep going to keep playing i mean you could probably relax and go elk hunting in the rest of your life what, yeah. what, why do you keep going out to uh, to play music and 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 play in front of the fans yeah you know, i just I feel like that's what god called me to do you know i mean i just feel like that's my platform you know so it's been uh i just i love it i still i love it and i still love to write I still love to sing and perform. And like I said, I just feel like that's the, the platform. Do you write song. a lot of songs? Mm -hmm. And and when do you, what, what triggers you to write a song? Like what do you, what, what goes on? You know, man, I need, I need to sit and write this. The, the pink shell. <laughs> yeah. The pink shell inspires me a lot. <laughs> it's a of shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just Google it and look at the building and go, you know what? What's the song going to be about the pink yeah. shell? <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's, uh, if there's a song about the pink shell that comes out, I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw at least a line in there somewhere. I'm sure. Do you write a lot or you, you prefer to just say, okay, Thomas, Rhett, you write me a song, bro. And I'm going to make it a hit. Well, I mean, you know, that's the thing is, uh, I mean, I love to write, but you know, it's always been the best song wins. You know, yeah. it's so, uh, I mean, there's, you know, you live in a town where some of the greatest songwriters in the world are. Right, right. So. Uh, do you where is country music in a good place right now? Do you think, or it's is it need to get get a little uh, a little shot in the ass or something? Or? You know, yeah, I, it's. I mean, it seems to be doing great. I mean, it's you know, you got everybody in the world wanting to do country music. Yeah, now. yeah. So it's uh, yeah, I think it's in a good spot. All right, man. Well, we appreciate you coming on. I know you got some fans to talk to here. So thanks a lot, Gary. Thanks, and, and thank you for coming to Fort Myers Beach. Really, it's we appreciate it very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you for All having right. me. All right, Gary uh, Lavox from, uh, uh, should, should I say Rascal Flats? Formerly sure. Rascal Flats. I know you guys are you guys are cousins, right? Yeah, Jay and I are. Yep. And uh, yeah, I mean, you, I've been called worse things. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll see you at the pool all right brother we'll tonight. be there all right gary thanks a lot thanks, man we appreciate you coming on thanks for having me bro